nagging wife is like a leaky faucet. <laughs> oh, there's like, so would many. Would you quote that verse to <laughs> your wife I straight up? have oh. once. Yeah. yeah. You guys don't show your children on social media and you yeah. did previously. I literally had to stop showing my kids because wow. not only do I not show the kids, but I don't share about them either. Yeah. You went to college. Yeah. What college? I didn't graduate. I oh, okay. To, Same. What college dropouts? Eastern. Yeah. I'm not a college dropout. Oh. I didn't even go to college. You did oh. get <laughs> I literally have sex when they're arguing and like it goes away. Men. Sounds crazy and they, but it works. When they, I used to accuse use or like use words like always never and whatever and jordan would instantly shut down mm -hmm. so i had to figure out a way to properly communicate how he's feeling without attacking him personally great what is going on you guys welcome back to the for us podcast the podcast for you and for us yo we got some special guest in the building the sissiotis we got melena and jordan how are you guys good thank you for having us in the words of dave ramsey yeah better than we deserve <laughs> yes. that's so true how are you doing i'm doing well you look Super good mama. thank you you look great thanks we got two mamas in the building <laughs> and we got one baby i don't know if you guys can see one baby starly starly girl is here again this is like her third podcast yeah she doesn't like to sleep while we shoot. yeah she's no, like, it's, I'm it's to hang out. perfect timing she's, oh, i think she's go. also nice. speeding up too that's like the timing is impeccable <laughs> love you sweet girl here jordan i'll ask you this question first what is something that happened this week that you were just like, wow, I really enjoyed that. I really love that. Oh, I love that. What a great question. Yeah. I feel it like makes you start like, to what's think. What's the worst thing that happened? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> Give me your low, no highs. <laughs> no highs. Um, yeah, what happened this week? You were like, that felt great. What day is it? Oh, today's exactly. Friday. Yeah. Today okay. is Friday when we're shooting this. Yep. Yeah, Melina struggles with her. Um, orientation oh for sure oh, i never Time know and space continuum oh, yeah. and all that sometimes yeah i never know what day it is i like <laughs> literally have to pull up my phone and look up the calendar to know where yeah. where i am or mm -hmm. what day. yeah so for me i would say thursday morning men's bible study great i mean we got guys from 16 years old all the way up to 74 is the oldest dude wow and we we've been going through verse by verse through the book wow. of genesis awesome. and we took eight weeks to do Genesis three and we just started Genesis four and you're like, okay, it's Cain and Abel, big deal, right? Like, no, you know, so Cain much more. Yeah. Kills Abel and God sends him out. And now what's the rest of the stuff? But there's so much in there that yeah. we're unpacking. And it, it feels like the best way I could describe it is it feels like you're living in a commentary. Wow. Like you have all these guys around and we yeah. just, we read the text and then we go through and just talk about it. That's it's so the highlight good. of my week. That's so good. I can't wait for it. It's six 30 in the morning, every Thursday. And that's it, like, man. It's crazy to think like this gets me up in the morning for sure. Right. Gets me what going, a way so. to start your day. Yeah. It's just always like, like my cups filled up and yeah. everyone's sharpening iron with each other. Wow. Are you time. leading that group or is it just kind of, yeah, I would say leading's a strong word. But, uh, <laughs> I would say facilitating. I'm the, the lead discussion. pastor of this group of this men's what, Bible study. What it, what I what I do more is like if people start going off on tangents, I try to just Veer. steer the con. You? It's you know it's been a yeah. therapeutic. <laughs> It's been, it's been very therapeutic. You get people on track. You know, I'm so wow! Proud. There's a God in heaven. I'm so proud. He's rich in mercy. I'm so because proud. He's, and he's got a sense of humor too. I love, love it. Jordan. Yeah, it's such a role. Yeah. Yes, love that. Melina, yeah. what about you? I'm what happened proud. this week that is just like? Um. Oh <coughs> no. I'm well, I've been working on a project that I'm really passionate and excited about. Let's I feel go. Like that has taken up a lot of my time. That's why I feel like I'm kind of blurry because I've been yeah. trying to do what I normally need to do. Sick. And this project. This week has been a really good week, actually. Yeah. Now that my mind. <laughs> You're like, oh wait, actually, yes. Yes, yes it was yes, good. Yes. No, this has been a really, really good week. I feel like we've seen the Lord answer so many prayers. Yeah. And we like know him as healer. We know him as miracle miracle worker. Yeah. So it's been it's been a good week. That's what's up. Back That's to awesome. back projects. You just dropped your book. Yeah, the Esther study. And how is that going? Or is it good. sold out? Or is it like can anyone well, get it's it? A PDF. So we okay. can't sell out. Can't sell oh, out of right? electronics. But yeah. We broke the internet. And it yeah, work your anymore. site shut down. No, yeah, no, gone. That's not true. But yeah, that was super exciting. Wow. The new project is very much so along the same lines of that. Sick. Yeah, Ooh. That's so exciting. Does anyone know that? That's what you just said? It's along the same I've lines? I've like kind of hinted at it and I feel like it's been kind of obvious. Okay, okay, but okay. Just drop like something small for the audience. You don't I have to. Say, it's got to do with a sword. A sword. Okay. So, ooh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Armor of God. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So for the people who don't know Melana and Jordan, these are our sweet friends of uh, what? Is that a bug? 
Oh. Oh no, it's just no. a fuzz. I'm sorry. Are you if like, there was a like bug, she would have <laughs> she would have flipped if there was. Well, one. yeah, I was making sure, but I was trying to remain calm. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, you yeah, did good. You did did, good. That was you very did. good. You did keep calm. You did keep calm. <laughs> um, these are our sweet friends of a couple years now, a few yeah. years. Yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like once, as soon as you guys moved to Michigan. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna say yeah. Right we when Rye was born. Right when Rye was born. Wait, right before she was born. When I was pregnant. Yep. Oh, yes. that's right. You we guys went came to over a- with um, Chelsea uh, and Nick. Yes. 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 Oh, yeah. And Chad and Tori. And we met, yeah. With yeah. our, yes. with, okay, yeah. yes. Yeah. It's definitely been, it's been some time. Ever since you guys moved born. to Michigan, I feel like we've, we've been connected. Yeah, we've so been rocking. Two years, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and we love these people so much. They have been the best of sweetest friends. When we talk about our friends on the podcast and we're talking about, you know, intentional friends and things like that. <laughs> these are two of Aww. those friends that we have been talking about. And uh, we look up to them. Believe it or not, yes. they've been married for six years. Yes. Six years. We're coming up on four I said three the other day, and Savannah was like, babe. Yeah, well, you were like, oh, we've been married almost three years? I'm like, I know. It's okay. One year off. Did y'all ever forget around three or four? Oh, we like, almost this- missed our anniversary. Okay, just making okay. sure yeah, I yeah, wasn't. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right, that I, almost- <laughs> if I would have almost missed our anniversary. Oh, I right. Wrapped. I know. She looked at me like I was just like insane. Well, okay, life just goes by really fast. It does. And, like, there was a lot going on. I feel like I had just miscarried, too. So I was like, what year is it? Like, it was, like, yeah. a whole lot going on. We're like, we yeah. want to celebrate and be joyful in this, but it's also, yeah. like, a hard it was a weird, you're it was a in weird a fog time. in the days. But yeah. I will say there's, I don't know if you guys follow this or know people who do, there's supposed to be, like, certain gifts that you give your spouse for each to like commemorate each anniversary like okay his, like you're I, I don't know i don't know what it is but just for an example like you give them a, a metal gift on your second and, and then a, huh. a gift of wood or something and it's like oh. or like you open a wine bottle on the fifth year that like yeah. you had on your wedding night or something oh. we didn't do any of that okay <laughs> all about to say, we don't do that okay but, i was yeah. gonna say i've never even heard of that i that know sounds like cool. something like memorable or like means something yeah. to yeah. that yeah. 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 Commemorate. Year. there's like mm-hmm. your silver anniversary okay like you know that's all these definitely like an old school like yeah yeah it's a little bit more boomer thing boomer thing it's yeah a little bit more old-fashioned but like i don't know something to them like yeah i guess we can start on year seven There's, yeah, you know, never, yeah. Never i love it i love it what um how'd you guys meet six years down the line yes but well, we've well, actually known each other yeah. for 11 years okay i did not know that yeah yeah so Wait, we started dating i was 15 jordan okay. was 17 okay it was at bible study I yeah, was so, so distracted because he was so hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keyword there is was. Was. <laughs> if, um, he was. I don't know about now. <laughs> yeah. I, I married up. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so it was a co-ed um, yeah. small group. So uh, high school boys and girls. Sick. And we met at our youth pastor's um, house. And there was, yeah, like it was what, a 20, big group. 25, 30 kids. The whole room is packed. I remember everyone was on top of each other. Yeah. <laughs> I could only see you. Yeah, it was PG, right? We left room for the Holy Spirit. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, yeah, I, I remember like I was interested in this other one girl from school for a long time. And I just. As a rebound. I just got, yeah, I got straight like that. Rejected. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then rebound. it was like a rebound to an alley oop. Ooh. But Kyrie I, to LeBron. <laughs> yes, exactly. Was that a baseball, basketball? Oh, baseball. basketball. <laughs> it's, Did you game. know? You said Kyrie. That's the only reason. Oh, I Oh, okay, 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 okay. You know where you like shoot the puck through the goalpost? Uh huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I don't know what an alley oop is. Who oop? What is this? What's the word? <laughs> alley hoop. Oh, alley hoop. Alley, it's alley oop. But I thought you were saying hoop. What's an alley oop? I feel like hoop would make sense. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when you throw the ball to someone and then they go and dunk it. It's like uh, a catch assist. it in midair and then put and it and then in the put basket. it in the hoop. Would that be an assist? That's yes, good. You, okay. Thank you. Wow. All right. Thank you. Wow. Hey there. Wow. Good job. Okay. <laughs> Melinda's like, go team. <laughs> go Wildcats. Okay. Sorry. All right. Keep sorry. Going. Keep going, Joe. <laughs> so yeah. So we met at um, our our small group, and it was. Uh, <laughs> I'm just thinking of go team. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was just into this girl for a long time, and then I met the daughter of our youth pastor, and she knew Melina. She knew me, and okay. she knew like everything that was going on behind the scenes she's she's she knew Milena was kind of into me okay but i didn't really have my eyes on Milena. wow i also think jordan was a little bit old i mean 
old. Yeah. I was a, I was a freshman. He was a junior. So I was like, that seems, okay. that seems yeah. like a really. But I'm robbing really, the cradle. Not, yeah, yeah, it's not big at all. In high school, isn't that crazy? This seems like the biggest yeah, thing, like and it's just so, oh yeah. my gosh, mm-hmm. and it's only literally two or three years older. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So then at this point, she's like, "Oh, I'm sorry to hear what happened with that girl," <laughs> um, and then took a breath and then was like. Hey, what do you think about Milena? Nice. Like, Who's that? And she's oh. like, oh, you know, she's the cute little Brazilian girl. Like, <laughs> wait, do you have your phone with you right now? <laughs> yeah. Where, so what is going to be shown? My, uh, no, your oh, screensaver. Yeah. So uh, this is the photo that she showed him. It was from the yearbook. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, how old are we? <laughs> Yearbook. That's, that's the picture. The picture. Yeah. yeah. Oh my you know, God. like, Wait, hold on. Let me say this. Yeah. You actually, yeah, they're definitely the same smile. Just now, gonna say, my hair is darker. If you pull up my yearbook photo right now, like, I do not look. Like, you. Why do you look so good? <laughs> like, I <laughs> don't look good. I mean, you just glow up, right? <laughs> Can like I say I'm a, I'm that. a big screensaver guy. Like, I want my screensaver to like mean something or like look mm. dope. I'm. T- it's that's so extreme that I what think does of that. Look like right now. Well, right now it's. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no pressure. It better be good. It is <laughs> right now. It is the girls, and then oh, so and nice and, and Starly is right there. Oh yeah, because remember one day you said you were like, "Well, where's Starly at?" I have to change it. Um, yeah. she's did in you there. Guys do family photos yet or no? We did. We like, they're not even out yet. Right? Yeah, they're like we actually have them. We got to show you guys. Yeah, with Brooklyn. Um, right? yeah, with Brooklyn. Oh, nice. But anyways, oh, I said yeah. that to yeah, say, okay, okay. um something about having that like every time you see that photo not every time but like it means so much it brings yeah. me back that's yeah. so cool i'll think about i'll just be dwelling on it but then at some point i feel like it's gonna be weird because i'll be like 40 and then i got <laughs> it's my wife but she's also like 15 you know yeah. so at like, what point well, does it become weird it's they yeah. can think it's they can think it's one of your kids though yeah <laughs> Wait, kid? no maybe yeah compliment? never <laughs> He's only two years old. <laughs> I'm, I am the old. Forget it. No, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Um, but uh, we'll continue the story. So yeah. she tells me about her and she shows me her picture. I'm like, yeah, I do remember seeing her here once or twice. And Melina was doing gymnastics at the time, mm-hmm. so was kind of you know, In and out. like a like a little lukewarm. Okay, you know? I was so lukewarm. She's just so. she's straight like that. Yeah, yeah. So we go over and our friend like introduces us the next week mm-hmm. and well she. Did you come over or did she? She brought over? me over to Melena's house uh-huh. and I met, well, I met her sister, Melanie. <laughs> I met her mom. And then her dad was like sitting on the couch. Uh, I'm going to put him on blast for a second. <laughs> but uh, he was sitting like icing his knees because he was training for a marathon and he's in his underwear. And I didn't know he was in his <laughs> underwear because he had like a blanket on over him. Mm-hmm. Nice. And I was like, hi, Mr. Mandeli. I'm Jordan. Nice to meet you. You know, and mm-hmm. he like throws the blanket up and throws the ice packs and he like stands up in his underwear and he's like, hey, nice to meet you. What a way to meet yeah, the parents. I, know. Yeah. Yeah, it's a I wouldn't know story what to do. At home. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, after that, we started dating. I actually went to Brazil that summer. I used to spend my summers in Brazil with my family and like okay. go and visit cool. them and stuff. Were you guys so. dating? So we were kind of like, we had well, a thing. Well, that was like, like an, yes. Do the kids still say that? Yeah, is it a thing? A still? thing, yeah. yeah. Or you're thing. talking. I'm so out of yes, the loop with Gen what, Z. That's all yeah. like doing. Riz, no cap. Okay, wait, what does Riz mean? Oh, I want to know. That. We don't even know that. Well, I've been well, doing my do. homework. Yeah, okay, <laughs> what's Riz? Please tell me what Riz is. So Riz, Riz is I thought was for, a DJ. Isn't that a girl DJ? Well, I think it's short. In the Gen Z out there, please correct please me. Please help us. Please in the comments, like... <laughs> completely admonish old. me if like, i get this wrong we're young, we're young and spry so riz it's short for charisma no and it's like if you can talk <laughs> to girls and like you can you have riz like yeah so in, in my day i hung out with all the hockey players and okay hockey players have their own lingo yeah and so they would say like they riz for them would be wheeling like wheeling dude, go wheel that girl like go wheel her. Oh, wait, like go talk know. to her. Oh, like, okay. Like oh, he's wheeling so hard. Yeah, right yeah. Now. He's wheeling. So <laughs> but that's like Riz has replaced that now. Ten years. I am years still later. shocked that charisma that it's the short. It I sense. never I knew that. Like so you're like a charismatic. Riz, yeah. Like, wow. Like okay. Ridiculous. Okay. You know, ridiculous. It's all how you can like turn it. How into you turn like, into, into something. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, anyways, like my Riz game was crazy. I feel so. I'm cringing saying. That. <laughs> My Riz game. <laughs> you rizzed her up. I was like, turn this off. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we were, we were uh, kind of had a thing going. Okay, yeah. yes, well, Brazil. Was super cute from the beginning because I went to Brazil for a month. Yeah. And like I, at the time, like no one had Wi-Fi. I don't even know if I had an iPhone. Yeah. Like, so it was hard for us to communicate. And he literally wrote me a letter and had it sent to Brazil. 
Yeah, but that before this so week, thoughtful. before she left, we did go out on a on a couple days. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Um, we went to like went, ran a place. I remember our first date was we went to. I feel like that was after I came back from Brazil. No, it was, was before. It oh, okay. Because I remember, remember I picked. Tell the story when I came to your house and picked so, you up. So, because I was 15, I couldn't drive. Right. Okay. So after I went None to her house friends. and met her family and met her dad in his underwear and all that. And <laughs> yeah. My mom him. got super excited. Embraced another guy <laughs> <laughs> that was my future father. You're in the fam right there yeah, after that. Um, yeah. Then a couple days went by and I reached out to Melana. I said, hey, I'd love to like hang out with you mm-hmm. and can I, can we go out on a date, like an yeah. official, like just me? That was her. like mm-hmm. my first That's date. That's a big deal when you're, you know, a junior. Well, and, and it was yeah. a big deal to me because Freshman. I'd never gone on a date with a guy before. I mean, I'd had like boyfriends, but you know, like this, it's, like yeah, little school. Nothing. That's not yeah. a real boyfriend. Yeah. This was the first time that like I had driven like, on a, in yeah, a car with another, with yeah. another guy. Wow. Like this was like a big deal. Mm-hmm. Um, And he picked me up. He literally had a little card that he wrote his name, his number, his email and gave it to my dad. Email. It was like, if you... So Here's cute. my pager. If Here's you need, a if you number. need anything, <laughs> that I'll bring work. her back. Here's a <laughs> it was so That's sweet. Really he was like, I'll Here's bring her pager. back at this time. And because I was 15, yeah. I'd never driven before. So he took me to like this parking lot of this school and had me like drive his car and like taught me how to drive. Sure. And stuff. There's a driver's ad and I'm like, I had a Camaro. Like we I had a 2000 babies. Camaro. That's wow. Babies. I had a 2000 Camaro. It had two 12 inch subs in it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I we love that's Lecrae. why I knew because I was like, my dad always had subs in his car. And so I you, yeah. like loved subs. Yeah. Like I, I grew up you. with that type of music <laughs> and he said he had subs. I was like, that's it. We're done. That's <laughs> it. We're <laughs> done. It's him. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. So that's so sweet. I was trying to think of a way to insert Riz into that conversation. Go for it. Well, we bonded over World Vision because we both had like such a heart for Africa. And no way. In Africa. Like there were so many. Like, in high school? Oh, yeah. Wow. Because yeah, my were family doing always way better. adapted our church, and our church, sponsored kids. Our church did that like a big campaign. Yes. To okay. Yeah. For, like, right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yes. In, mm-hmm. in Zimbabwe. And so we were. Yeah. We were Mine pretty was much Tanzania. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Oh, we um, sponsored a uh, little boy in Tanzania. Simon. Yes. Oh, cute. Yeah. Okay, sorry, so we, it's not about us. We like bonded over that and we're like, oh, we'd love to go there. We'd love to meet our sponsored kids. We'd yeah. love to go through through our, our sponsorship company. And mm-hmm. That's so sweet. So all that to say. When we bonded over that and subs. And then I knew. I literally told my mom that night that I was going to marry him. I told my no parents too. Wh- yeah. You're lying. No. No, no way. I walked in the room. They're watching TV. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Let's time out there for a second. Like, <laughs> why do like... <laughs> 50 and over, they always have the TV blaring <laughs> and on for like all the day. last three hours of the day. <laughs> yes. Like from 8 to 11 p.m. It's just like the news is just on. I, I can hear it. Like yes. The next house over. Yes. It's, it's just so on. Loud. And, and just, no one's watching it. No, right? it's just it's the ambiance. Yeah. 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 Nothing <laughs> ambiance. That it is must, not relaxing. It's not ambiance. <laughs> so, anyway, so I go into the parents' room, they're watching TV, and I, they're like, hey, how'd it go? And it's like, perfect. I'm going to marry her. Wow. Wow. I said something similar. Yeah, I remember. And then we dated for about five years. Okay. And then when I was 20 and he was 22, we got married. Wow. Okay. Was there ever any inkling in the, let's just backtrack to the, to when you first said, when you went to your parents and you went to mm-hmm. your parents and said, I'm mm-hmm. going to marry. Mm-hmm. Did you think that he felt the same way? Like, could and you, vice, yeah, could you or did you kind of like, or were you like, I don't know if he feels the same. I think so. Yeah. He was, was just so sweet. Everything he did was just so kind and Keyword genuine. Was. <laughs> no, well, like, it's just different. It's a little different now. Seasons like, are different, he yeah. Was, I mean, as a 17-year-old guy, he was, like, so respectful, yeah. such a gentleman, like, hand notes and being so respectful to my parents. I feel wow. like that's so rare yeah oh, especially the school that we went to like okay. it's just and I mean, he was christian a... and like actually knew his bible he right. wasn't like i was like it was like that's oh. so crazy <laughs> to me, i was like that, that you don't find that it's the adage where you, you're like i want to treat her like how i would want some guy to treat my daughter yeah, yeah. being girl dads now yeah like how yeah. much more is that the reality mm-hmm. let's like, talk about it yeah mm-hmm. so i back then i feel like i had just a like a tiny little like slice of the pie of how to how do i treat a woman yeah but like also show them i'm serious i'm not just trying to like sleep around Uh or or, you know yeah like but i also wasn't trying to like um court or do something like way you know not that there's anything against courting tell them i was your first what kiss (gasps) really yeah Yeah. at 17 no way like, my so like not against my will kiss <laughs> what i've been like 
There were not not that I was like some like Riz maniac or anything. Oh, that word! You're gonna be using <laughs> it all. The title of this episode is just gonna be Riz. Riz. I'm gonna try to sneak some Riz in there too. That's my first intentional kiss. Intentional. And how did you how did you feel? How was your first kiss with your? It was everything I hoped it'd be and more. I, I love. I feel like you're about answer. to cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was great. I mean, we the Milena has been my first everything, my first girlfriend, my first wow. kiss. Wow. Like, yeah. The, the first PG thirteen stuff. Wait, okay, recording. this was our question. Yeah, we we ask, we were ask. on your website, <laughs> Melena, <laughs> and um, you have this like your so your <laughs> favorites. I yeah, I know. We were just yeah, scrolling they, on our friend's before, website. Before like you guys, we start recording. We were like, oh yeah, we researched you guys. Yeah, it's kind of so weird like, to like, say. What? Um, you have like your favorites on the site or something like that, mm-hmm. and one of them says your favorite pastime, and you said I think that's a little too PG thirteen. So I said I'm going to ask her on the podcast. Mm-hmm. For the people who saw that, what was what what was so PG thirteen? Having sex. Nice, <laughs> nice. Was that, was that obvious or not? No, it wasn't. Really? I didn't know what. I mean, oh. it could have been anything. Well, what? Yeah, I guess. What or else? unless did you? That's what I mean. What that's kind of what I thought. Because I'm all the same. I didn't know. <laughs> all, all you guys just want one. Yeah, thing. okay. They, they clearly <laughs> thought the same. I didn't think. Yeah, that. that's like where my. That's definitely what I thought. But oh. you know, I didn't know what else would be pg-13 that you would be up to yeah i'm like right. well it doesn't seem very like yeah, there's not much to it yeah <laughs> stop <laughs> not at all Wait, okay is that a slight uh, is that another backhanded compliment no it's like what what else would i do that yeah like i, I even oh. yeah like what oh, is not going to the okay. club okay like, yes yeah. okay <laughs> right 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 okay. okay so wait so now you're married i i look at you guys and then a lot of people and i'm pretty sure you share this on your podcast or mm-hmm. just in general mm-hmm. but i look at you guys and you just seem like we're not arguing. We're not going through the like Never. super tough things. You're not serious. You're no, as in correct. like you're not serious. No, no. Okay, I know you guys argue. I know <laughs> we're we're married <laughs> like, or whatever. Honestly. But like sometimes, do you look at people and you're just like, what in the world could they be? What do they go through? What's That's the, yeah? I mean, I think so too because I feel like even like from you guys being around us, like obviously you know as being married that like duh we argue, but mm. it's not like you see. I mean, I would be concerned if like you looked at us and were like. They seem like they argue a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, of course, we don't look at you and we're like, they're probably fighting so much when, right. we, when we're not yeah, around yeah, them. Yeah. Yes, yes, um, yeah. But what, so yeah, what is yeah. the bickering and stuff? What do you guys? What, yeah, what, what, do you guys what did that used to be? Like it's over the stupidest thing. It's so petty. Same is it still us. a thing? Same for us. Six years not in, as much. No, be real. Talk for about sure, it. The yeah. first like couple of years. Yep. So we got married. I was twenty. Okay. So Jordan was twenty-two. We both had never lived outside of our parents' homes. Wow. Like we, I was still in college. I was doing YouTube. Yeah. Um, but it hadn't taken off at that point yet. Mm-hmm. So, and he was in school and then he was a corrections officer. So his schedule was crazy because mm-hmm. he did like 12 hour all shifts. Of, all of six months. It was, it's insane. Cause it was like 12 hour shifts. So like as soon as he was done, he had 12 hours until he had to go back. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes it would be, or it would always rotate. It, yeah. It would always so do like whatever, that wasn't yeah. funny. Either. Yeah. Cause yeah. then he, it's not that, I mean, did you enjoy it? No, no. So like, yeah. you know, that's kind of hard too. I'll tell you what, it was a great experience because it gave me like the ability to, I don't want to dwell on it by any means, yeah. but like yeah. it gave me good, because I'm, I'm kind of P- PTSD. No, <laughs> but, I uh, imagine we can't talk. It gave me great like opportunity to talk to people and like yeah. Yeah. Later, yeah. On like, I would do, like, great. later on when right. I would be an investigator and interview people, yeah. it gave me like a way to build rapport and like be able to mm-hmm. wow. talk to people. And, yeah. I still can't um, believe you did that. Yeah, that's that feels great. like such a blur. It was, because the crazy thing about that was we were on an eight eight hour schedule. So if you break it up, there was three shifts, right? There's days, oh, there's afternoons, 12. and there's mm-hmm. nights. Mm-hmm. So it's not twelve. It was well, it was eight. Eight, twelve, all along, <laughs> same thing. <laughs> yeah, what does it? But matter? you would do overtime. Yeah, most, oh. like ninety nine percent of the we time. We were understaffed. It wasn't just strictly at that eight. time. Yeah, I, they're yeah. probably they might still be understaffed. I don't know, but. Uh, I tried to blot that out of my memory. <laughs> sorry, honey, sorry but, I brought it up. No, no, it's, no, I'm just kidding. But uh, I have all the respect in the world for corrections officers because yes, they have to put up with a, a lot. Hence job. And uh, you would do your eight, and then sometimes you get forced to overtime. But mm-hmm. it's not just like, hey, hang out for like an extra two two to three hours, no, like hold over. Four. You'd be on another eight. Jeez. Oh. So you work 16 hours straight, but then it's yeah. not like, hey, roll in, like, roll in, slow roll in the next morning. You know, it was, you're off. You're, you're, so like my shift would be like 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. and then 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. Mm-hmm. and then I'd have oh, to be wow. back at my 7 a.m. shift the next yeah. morning. So by the time, and it was about like an hour away. So I'd mm-hmm. drive an hour, like shower, have some sort of like 
interaction with Milena. Yeah. Eat and go to bed. Mm-hmm. And then wow. I like four hours later. And wow. So do you it got all over like again. no quality time together. No. It felt like it was no. so hard to balance. And I'm not like the most time uh, efficient person. Yeah. Like time oriented. Mm-hmm. God bless you. So uh, <laughs> for me you. to like be on a sh- like, oh, you got to be there 15 minutes before for your brief yeah. and then like be yeah. there. Like, like very all that stuff. time oriented. I don't yeah. like There's being no like give. stuck on a clock. Like yeah. That, Did know? that bother you, Melina? Not the time. The. Um, him away, not him being away yeah, and not I was miserable. Yeah. I was like, and I wasn't fun to be around either. Really? Yeah, it was just, I feel like I've blurred that out of my mind because I'm trying to think and I'm like, oh, but I was also in school full time, working full time as a nanny and doing YouTube. So you were in school? You about like yeah. The, you went to college? Yeah. What college? I didn't graduate. She dropped out. I went oh, okay. To, Same. What college dropouts? Yeah. yeah. I'm not a college dropout. Oh, well, you did. You, graduated? You, said, you did community. I didn't even go to college. You did. Oh. Wait. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by HelloFresh. Guys. Fall season is right around the corner, all the cozy fall vibes, but I feel like something that adds to the cozy element is having a delicious home cooked meal. I also feel like this time of year can be super busy with back to school and all the things. HelloFresh has helped make this transition in this season a little bit simpler by having delicious home cooked meals delivered straight to our door. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. It's amazing for us because it makes for less trips to the grocery store and makes home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. I just go on the app each week, which is super simple, and I choose from 40 plus chef crafted recipes And honestly, I have never made a meal from HelloFresh that we all didn't love. HelloFresh is 25% cheaper than takeout and also less expensive than grocery shopping. Anything we can do to just take away any stress or just like create more time for us is key. If you guys want to try HelloFresh, go to HelloFresh.com slash 54us and use code 54us for 50% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash 54us and use code 54us for 50% off plus free shipping. (laughs) Wait, babe. No, I didn't drop out. But I thought you did online school. Oh, oh I, did, I did a few. <laughs> I'm over here thinking you got a PhD in something, and you're like, I didn't even. She has know. her master's. <laughs> um, I um took oh, a few classes. So fun. okay, but oh, you just never a dancer. Yeah, yeah. yeah she like, was dancing while yeah. she was doing it. Um, okay, but Anyways. I'm a college dropout too. Yeah. So cool. I was. So in, the stuff we would argue over was so petty. Yes. Yeah. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get okay. back around okay. to that. Okay. So go, I go. feel like circle, because. Circle he was gone all the time, but I feel like I didn't really notice because I had so much stuff I had to be doing For anyway. Sure. So I was in school. So what were you Eastern, studying? Eastern Michigan, early childhood development. Wow. Which is really great because that's like, wow. that's how I know everything that I do with the kids. With sensory, like I literally worked in the classroom. Everything that I learned, I applied to Alethea and Ariana Bandling. That's amazing. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. But I was doing YouTube as well. I used to post three times a week. What do those we days look like? Post every right? day. I feel we like tried everyone, to post every everyone. single day. Yeah, that's insane. It's wild. There's still some people who do that. Oh, for sure. I don't get it. It's a habit I dropped a long time ago. Yeah. But I used to do that, and then I used to be a nanny full time too. So like, wow. I my plate was brutal. You guys were both like we were like two as midnight busy. ships passing in the yeah yeah that's <laughs> whatever so that and I was is. immature. So and I couldn't tame my tongue. I was like a blah, 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 all day long. So that that bickering definitely, I feel like it was more so me than you, but just like nagging, yeah, annoying, yeah. just like immature, like young girl. I yeah. don't know how else yeah. to say it. Jordan, would I you bring it? That. Would you bring up about her like nagging and? Oh yeah, like I, really, just straight. What's just that? <laughs> what's that verse? Of nagging wife is like a leaky faucet. Oh, there's <laughs> like, so many. Would you quote that verse to your to wife? Me? Yeah, I straight like up. You have oh. once. Yeah. yeah, man. If I wanted to live outside, yeah. Hey, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to like There's another sleep one with an that, eye open. Yeah. There's so many proverbs that I'm like, Ooh. oh my gosh. No, Reading I, proverbs I mean, will literally have you just but in her, de- her defense, so much. Like, yeah, I was I was very feeling entitled or like, oh, I'm I'm working hard or I'm like working long days. So mm-hmm. when I come home I'm gonna do whatever I want. So yeah. Like, I would go work out or I would cook food just for myself or whatever, you know, just mm-hmm. like selfishly mm-hmm. instead of like, okay, we're newly wed and like we, we made a covenant to be together and mm-hmm. before God and like we can't just go off of our feelings or what we yeah. want. It's got to be deeper than that. So right. And we had two puppies. Samson and Delilah were like a year. Wow. wow. Yeah. Maybe a little. This is pregnant or not pregnant or uh, Alethea. Uh, Alethea came into the picture a year after we had been married. Okay. But we got had it. Samson before we got married, and then we got Delilah uh, six months into our marriage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But y'all know our dogs. They're yeah. crazy. Yeah, they're like, not I, normal. No, and crazy. Yeah, we know how dogs can be too. Like I, I remember when we. Got our first dog. I told my mom, I was like, "This is harder than having kids. It has it, to be. It yeah. is." And she was like, it. "No, Especially no, when it is." Accidents <laughs> in the house, like twice a day, three times a day. Oh yeah. Like, Delilah ate my Bible once. 
The whole Bible. Pieces. Not the word. The word. <laughs> she took, the word. She took, she took, the took the it bread. literally. She took yeah. the <laughs> Give us the bread. Daily bread. No, she, she took, took it, it so literally. literal. <laughs> <laughs> the Bible, took, yes. You could take it literally, but not like that. <laughs> and I used to have house plants, and every time I'd come home from school, the house plants would be scattered all over our couch. Yeah. Like dirt everywhere. Toilet One time paper, she, just... she pooped on our dining table once, like straight now up. Now that's wild. That was revenge. She we know like that was intentional. Was just like no, it was. Wait, in front of you guys. No, you but found we had the furbo. <laughs> What's the furbo? Oh, right? what it's it, called? It's, yeah. a, it's a dog camera, right? Yeah, it's it a dog camera. Treats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the furbo. I'm like, I don't know nothing about a furbo. <laughs> Do I need to censor that word? Okay, <laughs> furbo. It throws a treat out. It throws a treat out, and it's okay. a camera. So I would literally be in class watching them destroy my Bible, <laughs> and like, because it would notify you when there was movement or something. Yeah. I just remember yeah. being like the whole class. I'm like, look at my dog's eating in my Bible. Yeah, you yeah. Talk to them, so you press on the app, and she just like screaming like, "Yes, get down!" <laughs> you like, look up, and then you just go back to. Whatever. Then no, they don't listen with the with the camera. Oh, it's like yeah. you're not here. You can't hurt me. That's wild. That's so funny. Yep. We um, I was I'm gonna backtrack a little bit to you guys. Uh, I, the word communication just popped in my head. Um, for us, we're like, we're four years into this. And I feel like, I feel like our third year, like the beginning of our third year, this past year, honestly, a, a, past two years after having Rye, mm-hmm. we really started to tap more into actually communicating with mm-hmm. uh, each other and not just saying surface level things and like assuming that the other person would understand Mm. would you say yeah and what explain more yes i was gonna say or just like not saying literally just straight up just not saying what we actually mean or actually want right Mm. and just like i I guess it's almost like petty being like oh well you should know so like i don't need to tell you yes right like that we went through a lot of you should know josh and i can read those minds yeah (laughs) Yeah, that's right i thought too yeah yeah um, and I feel like we've gotten a lot better. Like, I feel like honestly, since having Rye, like as soon as we became parents, I feel like that will just strip you of any like selfishness that you have left. I feel like you have, you would be forced to, yeah. I mean, if you're not communicating, but even still, I mean, and you guys know, and we've talked about this on your podcast, um, on you guys podcast, those first few months of me trying to figure out what you need yeah. is Cra- for with for a first for a newborn mm-hmm. uh, i mean for your first child mm-hmm. is insane mm-hmm. like it, it i know you're going just all different types of crazy but for me i'm just like <laughs> yeah, i mean yeah. like not the crazy in that way but you know like know, the hormones so all of it on. like it's a lot going on lot over there crazy. <laughs> you're doing your thing <laughs> and i'm just but for the the husbands like we're just like we're so lost we don't know i don't know what you want i truly yeah. don't know and um it wasn't until like a few months after I was like, okay, I had to learn. I had to literally pray and ask God, tell me what, what, what do you need me to do or whatever. And it, and it was just simply just be there, be present for her mm-hmm. and give her grace and give myself grace um, during this time. So anyways, why did I say that? I, yeah, I said that to mm-hmm. say around that time was like, we were like, okay, what do you need? Let's mm-hmm. talk about this. Let's. And it was, I don't know if you guys ever had these moments, I'm pretty sure you've had, where say you get into a little bicker, or a little argument or whatever, and it doesn't feel like it's resolved, but you mm-hmm. said, you you apologized mm-hmm. and you like, it seemed like it could go away. Mm-hmm. But one per well, well, not even that, oh. one person in that moment says, no, let's actually, like, let's, fi- let's actually yeah. hash this out or whatever. Yes. Like, what is your true thoughts or whatever? Mm-hmm. We've had a, a lot of those moments to where it's mm-hmm. like, no, you're not okay. Like, yeah. don't walk away yeah. and think you're okay. And I'm not going to do the same thing. Um, how'd you guys overcome that? I mean, I know it's still a thing, but yeah. like yes. to get to the point where you guys are now, six years later, and with everything that you've experienced, I mean, you've known each other since high school. So it's I like it, so communication. Has, yep. Yeah. So much has it changed and evolved. I, and I feel like as people, we've changed too. So you have to really have a PhD in your spouse. I feel like we say that all great. the time. It's great. But like, it's one thing to know them as when you're 15 and 17 but yeah. it's a whole nother thing to get to know them after having kids after having multiple kids after like actually doing life together yeah 100%. um i feel like for me it's definitely changed because i used to get really i used to not be able to control my emotions and so i'd have to like remove myself mm. from a situation in order to be able to communicate properly i've definitely grown a lot in that area where now i feel like i am able to keep myself cool and not have to remove myself 
And then I personally just love writing stuff down, like just bullet points. Cause sometimes again, it's stupid stuff. You're like, what are we fighting about? Yeah. yeah. You don't even remember. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I will like list out exactly like how I felt when this happened. Cause Wow, it's great. I've that? done that we, before. Really? Right? Yeah. Like, I like, feel this when down. you do this. Mm-hmm. Like you project it oh, on yes, yourself. Oh, yes, you did that yeah. from that book right there. It helps. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Project it on you versus them. Because I found that I used to accuse or like use words like always, never, and whatever. And Jordan would instantly shut down. Mm-hmm. So I had to figure out a way to properly communicate how I was feeling without attacking him personally. Great. So That's I feel good, like yeah. I've gotten to a point where I'm able to do that, communicate what I need, and then... It just, yeah, it just wait really quick. Quickly. How do, let's stay right here for a second. How did you do that without making it personal? Yeah. Like, give me something practical. So, okay, um, what's something that just happened a couple of days ago? Well, I want to share a quote while you're while you're thinking of the specific example. Wait, I need your help, though. <laughs> <laughs> I need the tag yeah, team. <laughs> Sorry, figure yeah. out yourself. You're on your own. And why? Oh, yeah. you guys listening right now? It's all about togetherness like you don't want to isolate we have to be one. Oh, my goodness <laughs> so our pastor yeah um, had a great quote that he shared on our thursday morning bible study yeah. and it it's something that he's like i heard this and it's like years decades ago and it's just mm-hmm. always resonated mm-hmm. with him and when he shared it i'm like that's hiding in my heart forever now yeah mm-hmm. he said a question pricks the conscience but an accusation hardens the will wow a question pricks the conscience yeah but an accusation, accusation hardens, hardens the, the will. will. Yeah. What that's getting at is in any sort of a discussion or an argument where you like for me in Milena, it's I know I call it preventative maintenance. <laughs> like when you go to get your car taken mm-hmm. care of, mm-hmm. it's like, all right, rotate the tires, change the oil, right? Yeah. If you don't, then you're gonna have some major problems potentially and yeah. it could be catastrophic and maybe even irreparable at right. some mm-hmm. point, right? Mm-hmm. But if you're doing the routine maintenance, like, okay, a little so, little bumps and bruises along the way it's expected but you have enough Mm -hmm. going that you're going to actually you know preserve that and extend the longevity of that yeah vehicle so same thing in our marriage um i can start seeing the signs now and the writings on the wall or the way she'll respond to things or the way she'll her body language even right like i Mm -hmm. could tell like "Mm, okay i need to you take the car in for an oil change, you know, like, yeah. or like something I've been trying to do to tame my tongue. Cause I feel like that's been the biggest thing the Lord has been teaching me is how to tame my tongue. Talk about it. Um, Proverbs talks about our words should be sweet like honey yeah. and a soft answer mm-hmm. should turn, turn away a raft. raft. Yeah. And so I've really just taken that so to heart and just trying to do it. And, and I've so seen, I've seen a change in that too. Yeah. The way that I do it. So I'm not just talking my mouth off is I'll start doing stuff with my hands. Cause I find that if I'm distracted with my hands, I'm thinking of my thoughts and I'm taking every thought and that allows me to like come up behind milena while she's doing the dishes and like (laughs) i can do something so he'll like he'll see that like milena's (laughs) yeah (laughs) why is that me (laughs) that's so real it is like no it's great there it sounds silly but we'll we'll like 30 second hug when we're like really pissed off at each other which is like like the first you're like yeah so hard like a board seconds, she's like pulling away and I'm like, yeah let's just stay let's here. just do this and at the end like she'll she'll wrap her arms around me and then and then we kind of like, like why were we fighting like exactly. what was the point yeah 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 but yeah. i Nothing do want to really say that deep. so bruce lee developed a martial arts like his whole martial arts philosophy called jeet kune do mm-hmm. and it translates to the way of the intercepting fist and his whole idea is if you have a imagine a train just going you know 100 miles an hour down yeah. the down the railroad if you put up, a, you could put up a three foot brick wall on the tracks. It doesn't matter that that wall is getting crushed. Yeah. It doesn't matter how big or how strong or how powerful like that, that train is going through it. But if you took a tiny little block of wood and you put it underneath the wheel, just as the train starts moving, you could stop that whole train because it doesn't have the momentum and the buildup. Great. And I think in the same way with our marriage and how we respond to situations, like if I'm able to, if if we let something grow, like that's why Ephesians four talks about, don't let the sun set on your anger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like don't go to bed mad. Don't yeah. go to bed yeah. angry. That's yeah. something we've always like resolved as much as we can by yeah. God's grace to do. Because yeah. as soon as the wheels on that train start getting faster and it starts building up momentum, then wow. it's like, okay, wow. Yeah. I need to really like, and we've been there. We've been like full steam ahead mm-hmm. and it's not good. And I think it's cost us so much of like time to like, time and effort and and energy spent towards like trying to justify why I feel a certain way or Mm -hmm. for her to say like, you don't do this for me or you don't do that. And Mm -hmm. she's right. And like, but then again, it's a question when she's asked me questions of like, Hey honey, have you done this or done that? Like that, 
ooh, that pricks my conscience, you know? Mm-hmm. Question. That little bit. Yeah. Like, Instead put that of like, little why didn't you wheel. do this? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Right. You know, just like a yeah. really like rephrasing and then kind of and like a practical over thing. parenting too. Oh, yeah. I feel like I've applied so much of what I do with my kids to Jordan because... <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> She's like, honestly, she's like, put your hand on my shoulder if you want to talk to me. No, legit, we <laughs> do that on our like, podcast. No way. If you guys have watched, yeah, because in the beginning, we used to interrupt each other so much. People were like, this is so annoying. But I I'm still like, do you, you not interrupt like each other? Real yeah, life? that's. But we've also real. tried working on that. And Great. one thing is hand on the shoulder if we want to talk to each other. And then we'll acknowledge <laughs> it by putting our other hand on it. It acknowledges that we hear you. Okay. And we'll get to you in a second. But that's literally something you <laughs> it's what like a we do. Like, have you seen Alethea do that? She's really good at that. She'll mm-hmm. literally just. Just come up. She's just she touch. Like, say something. Yeah, yeah. that's it's so really sweet. Happy. It's a really good I'm habit use to start. That. Yeah. yeah, so that's they good. don't interrupt you because you know you're like talking, mommy, 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 and it's like we'll just be trying to connect for five minutes at the end of the day, sitting yeah. on the couch before yeah. the kids go to bed, and like they're playing very cute and mm-hmm. independently. And as soon as we're like both sitting down trying to like to talk. Then they come up and like, hey, mama, hey, that. And yeah. Like, mm-hmm. We want to be with them, but we're also like, give us just a few minutes. Just so a few. That yeah. Has helped a lot. That's great. Like that. Yeah. We'll do that sometimes to each other. Like, like we're joking. Almost like, like tongue in cheek. Like, yeah. Wait, just like, whenever you're ready. Like, yeah. On your time. You know, mm-hmm. that's it's, more, it's 99% million. Yeah. It to me. Yeah. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that though. That's good. That's so good. Like that's we so just practical. Each other. <laughs> yeah. But I think we, I feel like we've gotten way better. Yeah. People come at, us, come at us all the time on the podcast. Like, For interrupting? Jordan, stop, stop interrupting. Or Jordan, you're rambling too much. Or Melana, let Jordan finish his thought. Like, just can't it's please It's like, everyone. that's yeah, yeah. literally... Someone's always going to be upset. Yeah. I feel like no that's how you, you communicate. Do. I'm doing it to you I right know. now. Like, if anyone... If anyone took a video of themselves talking to their spouse, I guarantee they're... Oh, easy. Them 100%. Just yeah. But... It's just definitely something you can get better at. But still, yeah, it's, sure. it's a, it's yeah. a common mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. Um, that's so good. Because I feel like right now we... Um, we're doing the thing where like, say we do get into a little argument or something like that. And one of us wants to just like spring it in, like mm-hmm. just go for like the hug or go mm-hmm. for the mm-hmm. thing. And like you said, like someone is stiff in the yeah. beginning. Like no one is, someone's <laughs> like, yeah. I don't feel like doing this yeah, right like now yes. mm-hmm. at all. A but times the feeling follows the act. Yeah. Great. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, We've, Chad and Tori, they will literally have sex when they're arguing and like it goes away they will do that they'll okay, be like in so the heat of a moment that sounds crazy and they, when, it works. when they told yeah. us that i was like y'all are crazy it's imp- i'm like y'all just i need to know really into that how does that yeah, okay so really like i've heard <laughs> certain Marina's things like, we'll try that and then i'm like <laughs> okay just give it two minutes <laughs> <laughs> right okay, we'll try that. give me 30 seconds in and i'm good <laughs> um okay but listen an extra 28 that i've go ahead <laughs> Jordan, bro, <laughs> I've heard stuff like like I've heard yeah, like no, have sex or like um, hug it out hold or like hands, just hold hands or something. But out. Mm-hmm. in yeah. the heat of the moment, it's, it's easier said. Than how that. are you That's getting like the there? Whole, I we we've, we've so only we've, we've done reckon, that a handful of times. Not even like maybe two or three times. But I will say this: it works. It takes really one. Of, it takes one of us to step up and be like. This is what we're going to do. And it's, a, it's case specific, right? Okay, right. Like, you definitely. You gotta. You can't be out in public. <laughs> it's kind of. <laughs> or like yeah, with insane. your kids. Yeah. 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 But yeah. like recognizing like I believe this is a spiritual attack. Okay. Yeah. Great. And a way that we can com- like mm-hmm. preserve our marriage and be mm-hmm. doing spiritual warfare. No, against, it literally. Against the attacks of the enemy is yeah. like he's trying to rip us apart. Like what mm-hmm. can we do to bring ourselves together? Yeah, tie like, like that. The most Great. Unifying thing yeah. you can do. Yeah. So and that's like, it. Yeah. Let's argue in three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, babe, do you want to like, <laughs> do you want to go get in a fight really quick? <laughs> <laughs> Serious. Okay. Stop. No. Uh, all right. Um, we'll, we'll go now. Yeah. I was going to say, we can wrap this up now. <laughs> she sleep, rye sleep. Um, but yeah, do you have anything? Yeah, you're you're the interview guy. I haven't, no, I haven't asked I any questions. The, okay, so we've had this <laughs> role of the interview, interview thing. Today, Jordan. The kids love them too. That's all so funny. The time it's LA this one right here. It's you just the so reaction. Funny. You <laughs> both are. Yeah, it's great. They're great. We appreciate it. Yes! <laughs> oh, hello. hello. That's embarrassing. Um. No. Yeah. Well, let's talk about like parenting. Oh yeah, we were supposed. You guys were trying to segue there, and we yes. didn't. Oh no. Um. I guess just like because we've talked a little bit about how we are like just I don't know we have feelings about not showing the girls in social media, mm-hmm. and I know it's like. 
I don't know. I've even said that like to some, it may seem like they're almost doing it like as some, some sort of trend. Like it's become a very big thing lately. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't think, I don't think that anyone is doing it like, oh, this is going to be cool if I like don't show my kids. But I know that people have. No, if anything, people you lose views. Right. For exactly. Sure. Exactly. exactly. What do you guys think the difference is? Did I just cut you off? No, go ahead. I don't know oh, where you yeah, get you, it. No, I just he's trying to get in an argument. <laughs> no, no, now you, I don't even know. I was just gonna say like because well, I know that you guys don't show your children on social media, and you yep. did previously, and mm-hmm. your content used to be pretty heavy. Like, was it? Correct me if I'm wrong. Was it like heavy, like uh, mom, but yes, not but like? Not and they were just and they were just in the content because yes. it was around. But it yes. wasn't yeah. intentional. Like I was always lifestyle, so I showed what was going on same. in my life yep. prior to having yep. kids. So like before I had kids and I was in school, I would a day in the life going to college. Yeah. Like right. yeah. it was whatever I was doing. So I guess I never really had the thought like, oh, I'm gonna become a mommy channel. It's like my life is mommy. No, you're right just, because there and are that's what those. Ends up happening, yeah, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, but I wish I could go back and could have done it in a more graceful way Great. or i wish i could have looked into the future and be like hey maybe just don't yeah. do yeah. that yeah um but that's also you being authentic yeah 100%. for sure yeah it's yeah. like this very i feel like it's a very it's very fine line yeah and for me in order for me to stop that i literally had to stop showing my kids because wow. not only do i not show the kids but i don't share about them either. yeah like i don't want people knowing their favorite color Great. i don't want people knowing like the songs they like yeah. like to me that's just what i've had to do but i can still show that i'm like a mom yeah. and show the challenges and the beauty that comes yeah. with motherhood without having to put them on the spot and i love that so much so, way to like so it was like a the really camera like put our hand in front of our kids face no yes no, yeah it definitely almost and like drawing more attention to it by it's what we like said. Yes. Right, right. And I, so I started doing this back in September. Yeah. And I never called it out until I had been doing it for six months. Yeah. And then I slowly started to, and people like slowly picked up on it. Yeah. And, but prior to even not showing them, I started not talking about them mm. as much. Or like, I remember I didn't show Ari's second birthday and people were like, why didn't you share a family photo? And I'm like, wow. wow. Yeah. Like it's on my camera roll. I just didn't want to post about it. Yeah. So That's different. I yeah. feel like it was a very slow and gradual thing. And if anything should be trendy, I think this should be trendy. Like, yeah. yeah. That's Let's make it trendy. That, yeah. yeah. Right. Like we really should. Cause mm. they're, yeah, there, I could talk about this for what do you hours. Think, well, what do you think the difference is between a few years ago and like now? Like, why is it? Because honestly, you say it's like it's trendy, trendy or not trendy, but like I feel like it is pretty. People, uh, more people are doing it. Yeah. That mm-hmm. bigger uh, creators are doing it. I think are, there's there's some. I think the age of the kids too. Okay, yeah. Yeah. right. It's like thinking, okay, the. When you're a baby or you're just like, you have no choice. I have to hold Starly. Like, right. I have yeah, to, like, she has to be here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Versus like, okay, now they're growing up and is it their choice to they be on opinion. camera? Yeah, great, great, like, great. Great. You know, are yeah. like, we don't want to ever force them or like yep. do something against them versus mm-hmm. like, okay, I was a baby there and yeah, mom needs sleeping. to like be with mm-hmm. me while mm-hmm. she's mm-hmm. doing other things. So yeah. Yeah. It's different. It's a little different, but yeah, mm-hmm. when they get a little bit more independent, yeah. they're talking, mm-hmm. they're walking, yeah. they're, yeah. you know, that kind of and thing. safety too. Like mm-hmm. we yeah. went to Disney um a year ago or something no longer than half. that mm-hmm. yeah it's been a hot minute because i wasn't even pregnant with evangeline or was i oh, i can't remember <laughs> okay. we went to disney right. okay and uh we got approached probably by five people okay. and they all said that they recognized alethea before they recognized us no. and that just after that it really just rubbed you the wrong way yeah sit well yeah with me. nope and i was like you know yeah, yeah i just don't like that that's what i've always said too like if anyone like people come up to us and like ask for a photo but if anyone ever is like can take like, one with them one like never with the kids but like i feel like right now i mean we do so like we do show yeah. our girls mm-hmm. on social yeah. media so we're like still navigating but i feel like no one has come up to us and been like a fan of them if that makes sense mm-hmm. and i'm like okay that makes me at least have peace knowing that like yes. they're not following us for our kids right. like i really think they are like if for we me it was sh- the opposite like people yeah, they were sweet. specifically like, they were like sweet loved people. our daughter wow. yeah, they were, they were sweet. and her like, personality i was well, gonna say you know, alethea you know her is. personality she's amazing. who yeah, doesn't like love a, alethea she, yeah. like she started talking at one and a half like she was oh like very yeah. bright beautiful girl and so right. and i How loved that love obviously i personally think that there are ways to to do it or whatever Mm -hmm. um not saying that the way we're doing it is correct or not but um that there are ways to not do it and like not even not do it hiding like showing your kids and seeming like like you could literally like the thing is it's not about the face no like you could 
not show their faces, but still have your entire content revolve around them. Mm-hmm. It's Lana, so much more yeah. than their literal face. Yeah. That's it's the really idea up. of privacy overall. Like we had a, um, last week we had an emergency and one of our kids went to the hospital. I was going to bring this and up. I applauded you guys on the way you handled it. Yeah. And I specifically did not share which child it was. Yes. Just all of that you yeah. know like mm-hmm. i yeah. specifically didn't share evangeline's birthday party like right. it goes beyond like the actual face right and i think that's just yep. that's just our own conviction that's just what we have chosen to do jordan mm-hmm. was not on board for the longest time he's like this is weird yes yeah, like, like, i was not bored it was just i he just didn't I, wasn't as convicted about it as i was okay no, i was but just for different reasons yes. oh got it yes. okay yeah, yeah with his whole background in sex trafficking right like a whole another whole situation coming from like, like a, a federal law, like a yeah. law enforcement yes safety cop cop because there are thing. guys like not even on, anywhere on social media like and yes, for me to be like not only have an account but then my wife's kind of public figure mm, it's, right yes. it's kind of like water and oil so yes. yeah right. trying to navigate that mm-hmm. was always a challenge and it's yep. like yeah. okay there's nothing like incriminating or like bad necessarily but it's also like people can exploit far less you know they, yeah. they can mm-hmm. exploit yeah. more with far less so yeah yeah i've always just been kind of like okay i'll i'll uh monitor things but mm-hmm. it never got to the point where like we yeah. have a like a legitimate threat to yeah. our family so yeah thank yeah. god and it's like yeah you don't have to be like the most controversial or like in a that sort of position to have have these challenges mm-hmm. that you have to face with your yeah. kids but yeah like it just everyone's got their own conviction about right it, so right. Yeah, yeah that's where we are especially with great. the with the privacy too like mm-hmm. minus the kids or whatever but like no more house tours will be on our channel no more um especially like on tiktok and stuff like that um and that that could go against what other creators like they might still want to do house tours or room tours or things I think like that, that goes with maturity too it's just like you why guys started when you were younger too right? oh yeah i mean and all we did was pranks, yeah, pranks. We were, yeah. you knew you things. honestly could find out where we lived in la like it was yeah. A full situation. It's just, it's just crazy when you, what having a kid is would really do it to your growing up. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah maturing yeah, too. You so. guys have a big following and a big audience. Like it's not, mm-hmm. it's things that you have to now take into consideration about just your own, like your privacy, your well being. Mm-hmm. I just wish more people, people did though, because like people know? have bigger mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. following mm-hmm. and platforms and stuff mm-hmm. like that, and it's like so much it. more is out mm-hmm. there. I just, man, I just still don't get it sometimes, mm-hmm. but yeah, yeah, we we never want to use our kids as like a means of like our content has. To oh, for sure. Or I, sh- mm-hmm. I say our Milena's content, mm-hmm. and we never want it to be something that like they willingly don't mm-hmm. want to participate mm-hmm. in. Mm-hmm. And even, even just stories too. Yeah. 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 I was gonna say too. Even just like with Rye, like now she's getting older, but like she doesn't she can't really tell us yes or no, you know, like she's still too young to like make a decision Mm -hmm. for herself. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm just thinking of like the other day, uh, there was like a brand that wanted, required her in the content and we were like, no, thank you. Mm -hmm. But Mm -hmm. I think, yeah. So it's just like little things like that, but like Mm -hmm. she still is in her content, but like someone like working with a brand that's like requiring her in it. I just did. I was like, no, we can't do it. Like I don't. It's Josh and Savannah's content. It's not rise, right? Mm -hmm. Right. It's not a late or even family. You know? Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. yeah, for people to, get that confused is is silly like, yeah i got one more question okay it's for jordan how do your arms get that big that's um, all i want to know jordan to get <laughs> progressively smaller shirts okay <laughs> really okay yeah so, this is like so you start is, with like, okay you start with like a 2x yeah L, yeah and then you tell people tell everyone like i'm gonna go i'm gonna like start hitting the gym and got like, it like, and then all you go do is hit arms for okay hours every day and then you go down to an xl and then your, your buddy's like, hey, bro, you're looking pretty big. Yeah. Like, what, are, what are you doing? Uh, you know, getting smaller <laughs> shirts. I mean, really, really like on that <laughs> regiment. You know, like I'm on that I'm grind. That That's it. That uh, mass gainer Then thing. you go to a large, <laughs> yeah. medium. Then yeah. You start going to the youth section. Perfect. Youth. Like a youth okay. XL I'm going to start wearing equivalent. some of your clothes then, some of your shirts. That's or actually nice. even Starly's stuff. Yeah, you I can. need to just honestly <laughs> put that on. Yeah, that'd be People good. will think I'm as big as Jordan. Mm. That's how you rizzed up. Oh, of my, the word. arms. Well, okay. It's funny you Rizzed. mentioned like putting on her clothes because yesterday with uh, Evangeline yeah. wearing jeans. Oh my gosh. Ridiculous. Your dad was like, is she wearing Jordan's pants? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I was like, yeah, actually got me there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, we love you guys so much. Oh, Thank you so it. much for being the best friends to us, to just being awesome, just you know, people in our lives. Nice. And it's mutual. We're we're moving, and yeah, these are sad. like some of the friends that we will definitely be missing, but it's we'll still be we'll be in touch. Yeah, bring and the family. And we'll, yep, we'll hang out. Yeah, we love you guys as well at home, and we'll see y'all next week. Bye.